The PGA Tour heads to TPC Twin Cities for this week, so let's break down my top options for DFS on FanDuel. In the stud range, give me Hideki Matsuyama as the building block at $11,900. Matsuyama is a standout golfer with his irons compared to this field. He's averaging .96 strokes game approach per round across the past six months, according to Data Golf, once you adjust the fields he has faced. That is the best mark on this field by a full quarter of a stroke. Matsuyama isn't great in terms of accuracy. He is not going to pick up too many strokes as a putter either, but he's so good on approach that I'm not sure how much it matters. He does lead this field in true strokes gained across the past six months, according to Data Golf, and I think that even when you account for the issues he has, he has to be the key building block for this week. To me, it is Hideki Matsuyama, Tony Finau, Sung Jim as the key standouts, and I want Matsuyama most of that group. So Hideki Matsuyama, for me, the key stud to build around for this week. In the mid-range, I like Brendan Todd a lot. Todd is not a guy who's going to hang in every PGA, PGA Tour course and every PGA Tour field because he's not super long off the tee. That's not as much of a hindrance for this week at TPC Twin Cities. Todd ranks third in the field in good drives gained across the past six, 50 rounds per Fantasy National and also leads this field in bank grass putting across the past 50 rounds as well. Todd is a guy who, when the course suits him, can get you top end finishes and grades out well once you look at his game as a whole. He can make some birdies via the putting, and that's even more true when distance isn't as big of a factor. So Todd at 9-8 I think makes a lot of sense in a field where he can hang and not lose as much distance off the tee. In the value tier, I want to build on Ty Tyler Duncan strictly for tournaments, not for cash games, because Duncan is a volatile golfer. He definitely has good odds to miss the cut for this week, so he's not an ideal cash game play. But for tournaments, he has shown upside even in better fields than what we have for this week. Across the past couple of months, we've seen Duncan get top 15 finishes at the RBC Heritage, the Charles Schwab Challenge, and the Barbasol, and the first two fields there weren't all that bad. The Barbasol, obviously, an opposite field event this last week, so not putting as much weight there. But overall, Duncan is a good irons player. He can put it on the fairway, and he's $8,800. I think if you're okay with the risks he comes with, Duncan stands out as being a quality play in the low range for this week at the 3M Open. That's all we got here for this week for PGA DFS on the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Jim Sonis saying so long for this week. Good luck with your DFS lineups. We'll talk to you once again next week here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.